Brady Taylor joining us on this Thanksgiving Day edition of Humboldt State tonight and uh, getting away from practice. I don't know if this is what you had in mind for a breather <laughs> practice, but thank you for stopping by. No problem. You guys are, look, school's out of session. The kids are gone, they're back, hanging with family, friends. Uh, one thing about playing basketball, I'm sure you've done, dealt with this your whole life, it goes right through the holidays and there's really no break for you. How do you guys adjust to that? You know, we're so close. So like, it's kind of like a family away from home. Like, especially from, I'm from LA, so I get to see my mom in August and then I don't see her until a week in December and then again in May. So um, I love my teammates. I love hanging out with them. We just had a long weekend in Seattle and um, even so, we still hang out as soon as we get home. We don't get sick of each other. It's nice to like enjoy the holidays with them. So it's, it's not too bad. Well, through the miracle of television, we're actually giving them the day off and we're taking the day off this Thanksgiving. But as we, we air this, what will you do for Thanksgiving? Will you be with the team? Do you get a chance to yeah. see the family? Um, I'm staying up. Half our team are going home who lives in Northern California. But um, like me and my roommate, Louisa, we're all going over to the coach's house and having like a potluck dinner. and. So it'll be good. That's kind of a tradition, right, over yeah. to the, uh, the Gleason household? Yeah, we go there multiple times. Whenever there's a recruit, when it's a holiday, we always, you know, make sure that we spend it with each other and enjoy not having school and just kind of like having fun and eating. And So what so. are you in charge of? Stuffing? Uh, I don't know uh, yet. You haven't got that? Normally, like, when I'm down in L.A., I'm in charge of bringing dinner rolls and soda because I don't, I don't cook. So. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Louisa brings the muffins, and, like, I come with the napkins. So, um, I don't know, I might survive and you know try something I don't you're, know I mean you're an all-american you can only do so much right all those years of you know practicing hoops you didn't have time yeah. to to learn how to uh, cook and I'm sure yeah. she'll pick that up all right let's talk about you being a preseason all-american um I I'm sure that feels great is it a is it a blessing is it a burden I mean how'd you feel when you say okay uh bullseyes on me this year I was shocked when the list came out the only 16 players and out of the nation out of the west region I was one of the players to be chosen like I feel like so honored to be chosen for that. But at the same time, I don't want to think about it during games. And I know that other teams are like, okay, well, they have All-American on their team. So we're going to, I have like a, a target on my back and um, I'm going to be double teamed and, and looked at more often. My name's probably going to be in, in bold on the scouting reports. But I just try to not think about it, just play my game because I was double teamed last year anyway. And, you know, and just kind of stay focused at the, at the task at hand. Like to me, like it was, a, it's a nice honor, but I feel like what happens at the end of the season is more important than what awards that I get during the preseason, so. But I'm sure you know, as you said the scattering report, I'm sure every night, whoever's defending you, uh, it's, you know, when you're a sophomore a couple years ago, yeah. uh, okay, I've got, uh, I've got Taylor, okay, whatever. Yeah. Oh, I got Brittany <laughs> Taylor, it's on tonight. Right. I mean, you're gonna get everyone's best effort every night. And I'm honored, I'm honored that they respect my game on offense and on defense and you know I'm just going to take it one game at a time and um, you know what happens happens. Now last year we were talking, talking a little bit you at one point after your sophomore year I think we're thinking about maybe even just discontinuing basketball. Yeah. Obviously you've stuck with it and it's worked out very well. How far have you come in the last three years? I have I don't know if I'm living the American dream <laughs> from being redshirted my, my very freshman year right. and then quitting a couple times and then coming back and getting voted by the team to be captain this year and um, really being recognized throughout the community and especially like my peers on campus like actually like notice who I am and tell me good game and I've never seen them before so it's just like I've come such a long way and I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of my teammates for sticking with me and and believing in me and and my family down south having the support for you know whatever decisions I make but especially like last year and this year and being a part of a, a record-breaking season last year only like bo like boosts our momentum and, and our, my confidence in this team and in myself. So it's been a really good ride so far, and I'm really glad that I'm my college experience <laughs> is, is leading. I'd say this above way. average, Brittany. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know a lot of kids are going to humble say not many people are getting the same experience you are. Right. Do you think it was a maturity though, or was it a, a talk with the coaches? Was it a talk with your parents? Why you went from somebody who obviously wasn't sure if they wanted to play to you know not only uh, playing now but playing at the highest level? Well, my, the coaches supported whatever I did, but when I did come back, they were happy to see me. So that made it easier. Um, my my teammates are my best friends up here, mm. and so those are the ones I really talked to. So they had um, some influence, and um, their parents had influence. And um, my mom has always been proud of my accomplishments. So you know, if if I wanted to not play basketball, she was fine with that, but she's more than ecstatic that I'm back doing it. And I just have so much foundation and support within the community and everyone around me that I just, it's, it, 
it's like easier to come back to something that everyone welcomes you to. You know? How do you like coming to being at Humboldt State? You know, I imagine you know the girls who play for Dominguez Hills and a lot of the other schools. Uh, nobody has any idea they play anything because they commuted to campus that day and then they yeah. drove away. It's got to be fun walking around campus, or uh, I mean, I'm sure you're not living in the dorms anymore, being a senior. Right. But it's a community campus. Yeah. People know you. Right. Um, some people see us in the airports and there's always someone who either graduated from Humboldt State in the 1970s and, <laughs> and they recognize us on the, um, in newspapers and, and know of our progress. And it's just like Humboldt is such a small community and everyone is so supportive of our athletics and especially women's basketball, which comes from we having to kind of like, kind of like earn the respect first. And I think that it's just phenomenal because, you know, from L.A., you know, your name kind of gets in the newspaper, but <laughs> you're kind of under the radar and in like a small community. I'll be in like Eureka and a couple people's like, I saw you in the newspaper. Is your name Brittany Taylor? And especially like this year, and it's just like weird, but really exciting, you know? So I love our small community and I, I love that I came to Humboldt State and I love being a part of this. Uh, program, so it's definitely been rewarding. Well, it's definitely a compliment to you, Brittany. Everyone, uh, you know, recognize you and the team all together. I mean, the, the town is really taking an interest in women's basketball. For yeah. you, though, your season's going to end. What does the future hold uh, after this season is done for Brittany Taylor? Um, well, my major is exercise science, so the whole summertime I have to do an internship um, and work 40 hours a week, non-paid. Oh. I know, non-paid 40 hours a week during the summertime, so. It's just like playing basketball. I know, <laughs> except for no fun. And I, um, I'm gonna try and get as much basketball. Um, me and Katie Frenchy were kind of talking about maybe going overseas and depending on what the economy looks like and if what my job opportunities are, I might just continue to like not go back to reality and maybe go to Europe and keep playing basketball. I'm not really sure yet. Oh, hey, reality's not going anywhere, right? Sure. Basketball is now, and right. uh, the Euro, I'm not an economist, but the Euro is a lot better than the dollar right now, right? Yeah. Uh, I, maybe, I don't know. I think so. Maybe we'll okay. see you in Europe. Hey, good luck with the rest of the season and happy Thanksgiving. Football parties on Monday nights are back at Bear River Casino. Hi, I'm Teresa Coleman, your 2009 football party host. Join us every Monday night here in the Thirsty Bear Sports Bar and Grill for your chance to win cash and prizes. Get signed up for the big board, guess the final score, and cheer your favorite team to victory. Come join us for the party. Monday night football at Bear River Casino. It's more fun than you can bet on. Win and bear it at Bear River Casino. Game to a whole new adventure. There are plenty of ways to find us these days, but good old fashioned word of mouth from satisfied members is our favorite. Coast Central Credit Union, your real local lender and financing choice since 1950. Do you like authentic New York style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcata at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. For Big Pete's trivia, we're going to ask a question. You send the answer to JB at jbmathers.com and you can win free pizza. You're probably not thinking about food right now because you're stuffed and you're going to get tired of leftovers tomorrow and you don't want to cook, so a pizza at Big Pete's would be quite nice. Question, here you go. Who is the only person to serve as trainer and athletic director at the same time at Humboldt State? Email your answer to jb at jbmathers.com and someone will win a free pizza.